Stop the recording there, gotta title the video. Uh, gotta title the video. Gotta title the video. Gotta title the video. Oh. Guys, there is a lot of stuff that I hope comes to Madden 22 this year. So many things, in fact, that I have compiled the list. It's not exactly a list of a lot of things, it's literally one promo that I really want to return, but I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you do, hit that like button, be subscribed, notifications on. Comment down below, please. If you're paying attention to the video right now, comment down below. We haven't been getting that many comments lately. I want to see if you guys are paying attention. Comment down below what promo you want to see in Madden 22, okay? Whether it makes a return, or if it was in it last year, anything like that. Tell me what promo you'd like to see. I would love to hear. I'll even give you five seconds right now. Guys, we have a lot of promos coming to Madden 22 this year, but the one that I really hope makes a extreme rise to stardom once again like it used to is, in fact, flashbacks. Yes! I've talked about it a million times. We're gonna get into this video. I'm gonna show you guys some sick flashbacks that we used to have, some flashbacks that I made myself, and we're gonna go over it, okay? We're gonna go over this promo, and I am praying the EA brings it back. It is literally my all-time favorite promo. It is one of the things I want back in Madden 22 so bad. Not just a flashback promo, but a great one. Let's hope for it. This video is probably gonna be like pretty short, like just 801. I'm on that Xerxes territory. Ha! <laughs> Words are rough. Okay, we're getting into the video. Do not judge me. Guys, take a look at this flashback Michael Vick from Madden 16. It was one of the first cards, fun fact, that I ever used in a Madden game. It wasn't the first flashback I ever used, but it was one of the ones that I looked at in Draft Champs when I was playing and I was like, oh my god. I need this card on my ultimate team. I literally need this card. And I don't think that feeling exactly exists anymore for Madden players. I, I, I could be just talking stupidly, because now that I'm a Madden YouTuber, you know, I can afford packs and all that stuff, and I spend a stupid amount of money on them, and I'm a complete freaking moron. I have half as many brain cells as I used to, uh, all due to EA, of course. But something about it just doesn't hit the same anymore. I mean, look at this flashback, right? Uh, he's just standing there, menacingly! And then look at this one. I don't need to point out much <laughs> to say that this flashback looks so much worse. I mean, the lightning bolt, it says the year, it has everything, it's gorgeous. Obviously, it says the year on the Madden 21 too, but it just doesn't have the flair. It doesn't have the flair. It certainly doesn't have the stats. This Michael Vick was an absolute god, and it's mainly because back in the Madden 16 days, they balanced it a lot better. The aggressive catch was freaking ludicrous and super overpowered, but the stats themselves, we had a gold in Madden 16 at the beginning of the year, a base gold that had 97 speed, but just because that card was super fast didn't mean that the game died early. They put content into the game up until like, I don't even know, the end of July. We even had a 4th of July promo and a Memorial Day promo that year. It was ridiculous. They popped off in that game. Now, obviously, this isn't a rant about stats in Madden. I'm just saying I would love for flashbacks to make a rise, a super hard rise, pause, and they're good again. This Michael Vick dropped day one. It was a 91 overall day one QB in Madden Ultimate Team. He was super expensive, of course, but look at that card and look at that card and tell me which one you would rather have. I know. It's Michael Vick. I know. I know. Make sure your dog's out of the room before you say that out loud, but it's Michael Vick. We all know it. <laughs> That's not the scene. Look at this Chris Johnson, guys. These cards were stupid good. If I remember correctly, this card had 96 speed day one of Madden 16, or at least like within the couple first weeks of Madden 16 dropping, but it didn't make the game stale. It didn't make the game die earlier. They were just fun cards. Next up, Deshaun Jackson, also dropped with the Michael Vick, if I remember correctly. Uh, ridiculous card. 
This was the very first flashback I ever played this. Like I said, Michael Vick was one of the first ones. This is the first one I actually had my hands on and I saved up my coins for. I saved up for like 200,000 coins for him. And that was a lot because I didn't have any money. I was a broke boy. I was a very broke man, but I was able to get him and he was the most fun ever. I didn't have a good team or anything, but because this Deshaun Jackson was fast, I could still have some fun online. And I really want flashbacks to come back to that point where they're so fun and people actually want them, not, not this guy, okay? I love Marcus Mariota. Psych! But nobody was hyped about this. This is like a month and a half into the game, or maybe even two or three months. I can't quite remember, but it was a bad card for the time. I remember that for sure. And then just another one, sexy card art, 96 speed, 99 juke move on the 96 overall, 78 trucking, obviously not a highlight there, a little bit of a low light, but guys, look at this and tell me it's not sick. Now, I concocted some cards that could be put into Madden 22 that would be spectacular in the game. I'm gonna show you one, and then I'm gonna show you the remaining like 10 or so, maybe maybe even more that I made. Uh, so yeah, I made these myself, custom edits. Hope you guys enjoy them. This is my vision for Madden 16 flashbacks in Madden 22. Are you ready? Let's do it. Mark, fire music, boom, boom. There's the first one, RG3 on the Washington football team. The name redacted team. <laughs> I mean, guys, tell me you wouldn't want that card. Even if you're not an RG3 can fan, I know you would want that card based off of the card art. I literally am love that background. The lightning bolt, it all just fits so perfectly. And that, like I said, is not the only one I made. I made a ton. So, here is also some that I made for just about every team. So all, all, all of you guys can enjoy this. Are you ready for this? I'm pretty hyped about this. Look at that! This is the first page. We got Cam Chancellor. Obviously, he's the Mutt Masters. This won't happen. Cam Newton, Patrick Willis, RG3, Josh Gordon, DRC, Colin Kaepernick, Tim Tebow, Brett Favre, Patrick Peterson. I think these all look great. And before some of y'all say, legends cannot be flashbacks. That's not true. Back in the good old days of Mutt, Legends did get flashbacks, and it was supremely hype when they did. There was like a 99 Fred Belichnikov, 99, uh, there was a ton of 99 Legends, Joe Montana and Madden 15, all those guys. There was 99 Legend flashbacks. Let's get back to that EA. Let's have flashbacks go all throughout the air. Drop big batches at a time, and then just be away with them. Drop a big batch at the beginning, Three weeks later, drop another big batch. Three weeks later, big batch. Three weeks later, big batch. And ride, make the overalls go up along with the teams, you know? First batch can be like 89s, it can be these cards, and then the next ones can be 92s, 95s, 98s, and then drop some huge fire at the end of the game that are 99s. I think that would be fantastic. I really don't see a problem with that. I, that is what they did in 16. I would love for them to do it now. I know I sound like a crazy person ranting right now, but I'm just passionate about this game. And, oh, flashbacks. Mm, they're so perfect. Here's the second page. My favorite one here is the Adrian Peterson. I think that card's sexy. Or Antonio Cromartie, the one-handed pick off of Peyton Manning back in 2007, I believe that was. Jamal Charles, Richard Sherman. Hope he's doing okay right now with all his mental issues and everything. Michael Vick, Jimmy Graham on the Saints, Des Bryant throwing up the X, fire, Adrian Peterson, awesome, Calvin Johnson, awesome, Ryan Shazier, awesome, dude, Jadavion Clowney, also awesome, Antonio Cromartie, you guys let me know, I think these look sick, uh, obviously the Vick, I wanted to do a little throwback of the Madden 16 Vick, so I had to, I had to do it to him, I do hope you guys enjoy these though, let me know down below who you would want as a flashback or what promo you want to return, again, Please tell me. I would greatly appreciate it if you could tell me. Uh, we need more comments on these videos. It gets it pushed out to more people. I'm gonna start asking for comments on videos once Madden 22 drops because it helps the videos get pushed out more, which means 
you know, we grow more as a community with this channel, and uh, I can put out more fire vids and afford to put out more fire vids and everything. So, uh, yeah, you guys let me know what you think of these. I think they're hype. I would love the most out of all these the Vic, the Adrian Peterson, the Jamal Charles, and in the Cam Newton and Pat Pete, and the Josh Gordon, and the DRC. All of them. I would love all of them. <laughs> no, all the names I named, those are the ones I want the most out of all these. I think they're hype. Anyways, guys, I love you. Uh, I will see you tomorrow. Peace and love. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye. It means no worries.